my beautiful geeks, today I am doing a review on the Birds of Prey movie. I haven't done a review since Spider-Man Far From Home last year, and I've been missing doing these, and it's just because, like, it's crazy, and I haven't had time, but I'm back, and we're here to talk about uh, Birds of Prey, because I love the movie, and it was so good, and I just came home from seeing it. So, um, let me just talk about our main character, Harley Quinn. Okay. I loved her from Suicide Squad. I loved her even more now from Birds of Prey. Um, I love how she's, like, this independent woman now on her own. Um, and she's still her, like, kooky self, which I love. Um, and... Oh my god, what did I say? I just love Harley Quinn in general. Like, I don't know what it is that I just I love her she's just she's great um we have new characters which is Cass. Cass is the main well I guess eh, main-ish secondary character to Harley who um is a young teen who gets caught up with Harley and Harley's mission to find a diamond um, and supposedly this girl has the diamond, but she ate the diamond, so they need to get the diamond, and so Harley and Cass kind of become, I guess, friends, you could say, and they kind of, yeah, um, she was new, I didn't mind her, I think she was fun, I like, it was like, a, they played off well, Harley and cast played off well each other um so we have like this cop named Delgado and um what do I say about her she's a cop well detective who has been treated poorly by her male counterparts um and she's kind of trying to get out of that um I guess I say this. She's trying to get out of that like bad environment. Um, just men constantly getting her down and taking initiative for things that she's done and um claiming her victories as theirs. Um and she gets cut off cut up in this Harley Quinn's search for the diamond and also trying to protect Cass from Har Harley and all these other people who are trying to hunt, cast down for the diamonds. Um, then we have Black Canary. Oh my god, I love Black Canary. She, the actress who plays her, is amazing. Uh, Black Canary kicks butt in this movie. She uses her voice once, but she really uses her strength to overcome villains or the bad guys, I guess you could say, which I love because she's a strong and independent woman. But she's also trapped down by the man who runs a nightclub, who's our main villain. Um, she is stuck there working for him, and she's just trying to get out of that situation. Um, then we have Huntress, who, um, whose family was all killed because she's... I can't tell you this. It's a spoiler, but this is already a spoiler review. Haha! <laughs> Hi guys! Um, all my movie reviews are spoilery. Spoilery. Sorry. Um, and where her family got shut down because of this diamond, and her family owned this diamond, and it's all the riches, and, um, so she, like, seeks revenge on the guy who killed her family, and she gets caught up, cut, caught up in the scheme of trying to get the diamond as well, and it's this whole thing, and, um, she eventually helps. Um, Black Canary, Harley, Delgado, Cass, and the end. Um, Huntress was one of those characters, for me, personally, that was kind of hard to like until the very end of the movie. Um, I don't know what it was, there was just something about her that I was like, yeah, she's alright, she's not my favorite. Um, but she was great. And then the villain of our movie is Black Mask. The actress who plays her, the actress, <laughs> this is a man, um, the actor who plays this. Um, Black Mask is 
a man who holds women back from being strong. Um, he definitely oppresses them, which is not cool. Um, but uh, he eventually dies at the end of the movie um, by Harley. Um, and he's one of those villains that I'd say... He was a really good villain, honestly, because it kind of shows you how some men, not all, um, treat women in our society. And I think it was good to show that because I don't think many movies show men um, being held back from men. And I think it's time that we have more movies like that. Um, Wonder Woman kind of started that, and I'm hoping we continue on that way, that path of just having more strong female characters in movies and TV. Um, not like we don't have any already, I swear we have so many, but that are just, um, they don't have powers or anything, they're just strong women. Um, so I want to talk about two standout scenes for me. One of the scenes was at the police station where Harley, you see this a little bit in the, in the trailer, where she has a sparkle machine, well not machine, a sparkle gun where she puts like a capsule of like sparkles into her gun and she shoots it and sparkles. It hits like whoever she's aiming it at and sparkles go everywhere, which I thought was really funny. The fight coronation in this movie is, oh my god, amazing! Whoever choreographed the fight scenes for this movie uh, has my full respect. They were, it was just so good and the jail fight scene was probably one of the best scenes in the movie as well as the funhouse fight. So this one takes place, I think, towards the end, yeah, towards the end of the movie. And, um, it's in a fun house, and I'm thinking it's, like, Joker and Harley's old base, because on the windows you can see, like, haha written over it and stuff, and, like, red, probably spray paint. I don't really know. Um, and in the, during the fight in the background you can see Harley, and there's, like, a trampoline that she's fighting on, and you can see in the background just, like, jumping on the trampoline, it's really funny, um, but that's one of the best fights, it's so, like, action-packed and fast that you're constantly, it's not hard to follow, um, cause you're just so in that moment and it's great, and this movie is, like, two hours long, but it feels like it's, time has passed so quickly, it's, that's how action-packed and intriguing this movie is, um, which I love. The soundtrack to this movie, love, um, just the, from the instrumental music, it really set the scene for what was going on, and when it's a scene that's full of, like, tension, um, the music builds up, and it's just perfect, um, and then the soundtrack for Lyrical, they were all songs that really are women empowerment, which I really, really appreciate because I feel like this movie really talks about women empowerment and being a strong woman and that women can love themselves and that they don't need to prove themselves to men, which I really love. Um, the visuals in this movie are stunning. I love them. I wish I could, like take screenshots and like of all these scenes because they're just so like if you just freeze pause the movie and just take looks there's so many beautiful shots in this movie that you know what I applaud the director the director knows what they want and is awesome um oh yes I have to talk about Bruce um Bruce is the hyena that Harley adopted, and I have to say that's the best thing I've ever seen. I love Bruce. He is the cutest little hyena ever. And, um, maybe I could borrow him for a couple of days. Um, no. <laughs> Bruce was great, and <laughs> she also has a beaver. 
and it's pink tutu and a candy necklace that she talks to, but it can't talk back. But she thinks it's arguing back to her, and it's really funny, um, it's kind of weird, but I love it. Um, oh yes, I love how there's voiceover work in this movie as well, um, because Harley will come in sometimes and voice what is happening to other characters, um, or like, voice some thoughts inside her head, um, which I love. I think that's different and unique, and I really like that a lot. Um, I also really like the animation at the beginning of the movie, um, because it was just different and unique to a movie where you thought, oh, it's just live action, which I know some live action movies do have animation at the beginning, but sometimes when they do that, the movie, the animation is better than the actual movie you're watching. Uh, <laughs> But that was not the case for this movie, and I really, really like the animation at the beginning of the movie, and the Harley Quinn voiceover at the beginning of the movie. Sorry, I keep messing with my pigtails. I don't know what's up. Um, this is definitely a love letter to women, and loving yourself, and just being yourself, and just being the strongest woman you can be, and I definitely think that's a good message to send out there for women of all ages, of all races, of all, like, like, everything, like, women just need to see this movie because it's so empowering and it makes you want to stand up for your rights, I guess, or just be a strong woman. Um, I definitely, my big takeaway from this movie is definitely woman empowerment, that mo this movie really, really, really wanted that to come across and I, and like, just, they don't shove it in your face. But, like, after watching the movie, you're really like, huh, this is a movie about women empowerment. But also, like, it's just a really fun movie, you guys. You all need to see it. I don't care if, if you're a girl or a guy. I don't care. Just go see this movie because it's just, it's just so good. It's so good, you guys. I just want everybody to see this movie because it's... It's just one of the movies that, like, we all should see. So, hey, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and tell us what this video liked it. You can follow me on Instagram and on fanfiction at unapologeticallygeeky. Same with spelled here. So, you guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.